welcome. First, place the tire and the bead breaker blade of the tire changer and make sure there's sufficient distance between the valve and the blade. Start with the pressing on the outside and repeat this process several times. Then press the tire several times on the inside. In order to expose the sensor, please first remove the balancing weights. Fix the rim in the tire clamping device and adjust the fitting head correctly. Before removing, lubricate each tire bead with sufficient fitting paste. To remove the top tire bead, think of the fitting head as a 12 o'clock position and the position the tire so that the valve is at 11 o'clock position. Then pull off the lower tire bead, make sure that the valve is in the same starting position as the upper tire bead. To remove the defective sensor, loosen the valve stem from the inside of the valve hole. Mount the valve and the sensor finger tight together and put the valve through the hole of the rim. Press the sensor onto the rim and mount the torque nut by hand. Make sure to use a torque wrench with 4 newton meters. Ensure that the sensor is touching the rim on all sides. To pull the tire onto the rim, position the rim so the valve is opposite the fitting head and then place the tire in the correct position on the rim to install the bottom tire bead. Begin the fitting of the upper tire bead by turning the turntable clockwise. Make sure the valve is in the same position as the lower tire bead. After successfully installing the BH10 sensor, please continue with the usual wheel installation of the vehicle. If a new ID was created for the sensor during the previous programming of the BH10 sensor, carry out the relearning process according to the specifications of the vehicle manufacturer. Also, use the TPMS warning lamp to check whether the TPMS is working properly. You can then save the data read out in the TPMS diagnostic device. You can find more videos about TPMS on bh-sense.com.